hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel derek designs and my name is derek and i'm a graphic designer so today we are going to learn how to clip mask uh, text into an object so guys before we continue in our video please i beg you please subscribe if you're still new and if you're watching this video please don't forget to leave for me a like a like button or a thumbs up uh, so it helps me to send my video or recommend my videos to more viewers so and if you've seen anything if you would like to comment on anything please just feel free to comment yeah uh, if you want to anything so guys without wasting any more time let's just dive into our video of today how to clip mask all right so this is my art mode and i'm going to first create my background and first put in this i'm using 1920 by 1080 so this is my background i'm gonna choose my background color let's put in some gradient okay uh had already selected so my gradient is I've used this gradient blue okay let me use this okay then the darker color let me use no okay let me use this so if you need to add this this is not so much important you can use any background color you need you can use black you can use any color you need so this is my color of my choice so as I'm done I'm going to come down here and lock it in my layers panel and lock it so what next we are going to get our type tool then type our text we want to use okay so i'm gonna type jump okay holding my shift i adjust without losing shape okay I want it to be a bit bigger okay i'm using more maserat font extra bold and uh, the spacing i've made it in spacing i'm using negative 100 because i don't want it to be more uh, spaced a lot also you can make it negative 200 it's up to you so but it will be so much tight so i don't want it to be like that I will leave it on negative 150 you can know i don't want it to be more tight i'm gonna leave it on negative 100 okay so i'm going to remove the fill and put in the stroke i want stroke to be black All right so what i'm going to do next i'm going to import my image that i want to use so okay so I've imported my image, holding my out, I zoom in and out, and holding my shift key, I adjust the size of my image or my photo. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my text on top, holding my out, I zoom in, space bar to change shape okay so what next try to adjust and organize where you, sh you want your shape so let me first lock this text because i don't want it to disturb me okay so bring and organize your image or your photo very well as you want it it will be according to your design how you want it to be looking but for me i hope this will work better for me okay so we are going to um, unlock this okay come select uh, first come and make a copy of your image right click okay now uh, come edit copy first copy because you, you you you're going to need it in 
in another step that you're going to be heading to. So come and select this text. Come in your uh, Pathfinder panel. Come on this, all right? Come and first make this text a compound shape because if you don't make it a compound shape, you won't be able to mask it. All right, so this is done. If you are done with making it compound shape, come and select both your text and your image holding your shift. Come, make, right click, make clipping mask. Okay, so as you see, it's already clip mask, but this is not the, the final design I want, all right? So heading to our next step, come first come and lock this as we don't want any inconveniences remember you copied your photo come and say paste it paste in front okay so we have our uh, photo brought come and make the transparency adjust the transparency to this because we need we're going to need to cut out some shapes okay come first lock it zoom in because we need to bring out this effect very well you're going to zoom in and cut out some areas you need holding uh, pre, uh selecting your pen tool you're going to come uh, if if your pen tool if you select your pen tool and uh, brings this sign just know that you're holding your caps lock your caps lock is on so you just have to switch it off to get back okay so we are going to make selections here so you can select your selections um i'm not going to bring out the whole of it so let's uh let's stop here so i'm gonna bring these three shapes that i've created i'm gonna bring um pop them out of the uh word all right so what next let me first select this all holding my shift key come on your pathfinder tool all right select again this make compound shape after making them compound shapes come unlock our image the one we had lowered the transparency come on fill the transparency to 100 come and select both your image select your compound shapes and clip mask them all right so guys you see how we have popped out our image and uh, how we have made our mask so guys if this is if this video has been helpful for you please give me a subscribe if you're still new give it a like and please don't forget to comment and see you in the next video. I sign out.